Hi, Sean. Yeah, I'm a video boring great uh hidden hin or need the marvel board man Collier's Park uh my own time a nice board and play with Han all legally uh Dodi Ru Rara and Amri. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get a team. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get a team. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get a team. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get a team. I'm not sure if you're going to I think it's a good thing to do with the park. I think it's a good thing to do with the park. I think it's a good thing to do with the park. I think it's a good thing to do with the park. I think it's a good thing to do with the park. I think it's a good thing to do with the park. I think it's a good thing to do with the park. I think it's a good thing to do we do we really want Nisha Nadas and Eva? He got the Nadas in a die game, ma'am. I've been time like great. Yeah, Ben, I've been going to be the key, you know, okay. Poppeth and Yaw and Dial. Okay, Dav for BBC. Hey, Ben, so it's you. Come on, Dav. Yaw and Dial. Yaw, Sean and Son of a captain, you think the well team need a job of plan. On Pamoda, Ben, a Gue, you bought the tea. Header game now, and those are so with an unfold this man and the Margal on the wrong page in David Nagos at Cal. Uh, so even about how the Hidian Kavla died, he then got some of the Tetos, the Flat of Arwenia. Um, yeah, I mean, something crazy, but but Ang and Provid and Beat, they were honest. Uh, do we need our Blanville needed way that doing time lob and the Garvan won, but we and you know, boys didn't help be out on patrol. My Vengal, the captain, and with the Especially if one honest them really probably them on uh are one of boys well well did it or or blana I just joy of it uh goodbye to Nigel die uh die can that in a game of only going to current hard uh to uh glad is a day not sinede gaggy word on but then canal again uh give an euro review a die the goys. Um find to hope but any vote team other you build right in Henry he he quite a custard layer for my tena and start with principality. Yeah, but then, um, we then time not great, Guido, Guido, Pobol, and Amria. Um, well, need to weld Pan Pandartha Champions League, he had did, my, my Vingati Gal Lotto had every Pobol and and Camria can and as any get to weld Bonnie Angati, uh, Gal Game Envar and and Englad Niak, the Ningati Roy Shoi, Armani, Beatrice, uh, I'm going to go to Nolly and come to Tob and I'm happy to see him. I think it's important to know that you're going to be able to do this. 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 You're going to where do you have on our plan? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to die game, I'm play with Ride in the Ennis, like I need to 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 Game and Val Sindorlan now and Ryan Kaysom in Mounty Paul Bean and Barody Broidra Kaysom in this Bob game. Yeah, Ben, Bob Locke, Sogar Kelly. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, Dav. Ah, Alan Reese, Shivers or Gollock. Hi, yes, Ben. Hi, Ben. Ah, just go and see. I'm Chloe Marie Frank. See, 
Mae Rob Pace yn gweithio bod nhw'n ei gael cyfle, chwriwyr fel Charlie Savage, lle Owen Beck, Newt Harris. Beth allwyd chi wedi wrthyn iawn y chwriwyr hynny? A siwm nhw'n rhy creu argraff o'r nhw'n teimlo? Um, dim ond heddi ni gweld nhw mewn nhw'n marwyr, ond uh, mi stwetho ni wedi mynd i'r gêm dan ydych un yn uh, cas newydd. Ac ni'n gallu gweld bod, um, bod y dyfod yn ledrych yn dda i Cymru, ni wedi gweld chwriwyr sydd yn gael digon o hader i gael y bêl yn ware pêl drod y, y ffordd dyn ni eisiau ac um, bydd siams dyn nhw i dangos beth nhw'n gallu wneud mewn gêm gyda'r, uh, gyda'r carfan trwma. Ni'n edrych man, um, mae'r boys chi wedi enw i fan na, hefyd Joe Lowe ma wedi dod mewn i'r carfan. Ma, ma fe'n, um, ma fe'n time lad bled ni, ni'n edrych man i gweld beth nhw'n gallu wneud. A wedyn o'r ran gêm Croatia, wedyn nam nhw'n clywed yn barod y pwysau sy'n arno chi fel carfan. Sio di chi fel carfan yn ymdodi gyda'r pwysau yna? Chi'n tymlo bod cyfle efallai i'r gwrthwyneb i, I brofi rhywbeth gyda'r pwysau yna? Yn credu bod rhaid i ni. Um, rhaid ni bod mewn ysbyllfa ble. Mae'n rhaid ni'n dangos beth, beth sy'n angen neud. Dyn ni wedi... Dyn ni wedi rhoi yn hunan yn ysbyllfa hwn. Ni'n gwybod bod, bod gemau galed sy'n mynd i dod, ond ni wedi dangos o blaen bod ni'n gallu waren erbyn teimau dda yn Cardiff a rhoi perfformiadau dda mewn felly mae Croatia yn tîm gyda lot o chwaraewyr arbennig ond ni'n edrych mlaen at y gêm ac ni'n credu bod ni'n gallu gael rhywbeth maes o fe. A beth mae'n sy'n rhoi yn gallu cynnig i chi fel gwrthwynebwyr yn barod o gyfer Croatia? Mae'n credu bod e'n um, siawns i just ware gyda'n gilydd, uh, so ni yn ware pob wrth nos ac pan, pan chi'n dod gyda'n gilydd fel garfa mae'n bwysig i Jyst bod gyda'n gilydd, gweld beth sy'n gweithio, beth sy'n felly, felly uh, eisiau wneud yn, yn well, ond yeah, ni'n uh, edrych mlaen dy gêm ac gobeithio ni'n gallu rhoi perfformiad da mewn. Diolch ben, cwblog. Diolch yn fel. Diolch alun. Ok, we move on to the um, English language now. Um, again, if you can keep two, three questions per bit, please. Um, and use a hand up feature if you want to ask anything. So we start off with Lawrence from Talksport. Hi Ben, sorry to search for the new button there mate. Um, uh, well listen, uh, congratulations on, on sort of captaining this week, but uh, I guess with, with Aaron not around, it's, uh, it's a big blow for the for the country and, and for the nation heading into that Croatia game. Yeah, of course, uh, Aaron's a great player and uh, to be without him is definitely a blow, but I think it gives, gives the boys who've come in in his absence before another chance to show what they can do and uh, we're excited for the games. And what does it mean for you to, to be captain this week for, uh, for, for leading your nation? Uh, no, it's something, look, I'm incredibly proud to do. It's, it's something I've always wanted to do and, uh, and look, I've done it before, but it's nice going into the games knowing the situation we're in and uh, I'm ready for it. Uh, has your role changed as sort of vice-captain? How has it developed since, uh, since you, you sort of took on that role? Um, not a whole lot different, to be honest. I feel like I've always been around this camp and been seen as one of the leaders in the group uh, for a while now. So, like, it doesn't feel too different, to be honest. I try to be myself, stick to the values that I've got, and uh, hopefully get the boys going for the game. Uh, has it meant a lot for you to try and bed in the new younger players, though? Because it is that sort of transitional period. We've heard Rob talking about it being a transitional period as you move on from Gareth and, and Joe and Chris and, and those sort of players. Yeah, I think look, losing those players is obviously going to be a blow to anyone. They're players who've been mainstays in the national team for a long time. But look, we believe in the younger players we've got. We believe in the, in the players that are coming through and have come through in the last few years. So, yeah, you can call it a transitional period, but I feel like we're, um, we've got players ready to go right now. Cheers, Thanks, Lawrence. Just a reminder for three questions, please. Uh, and it's Garen from Sky. Hey, Ben. How are you? Good. Thanks, Garen. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thanks. Um, just can I just come back to sort of the sort of the, the, the captain seat, but Ben, I think we all we've seen what it means to you when you've been you know, captain against England, the South Korea game recently as well. What do you know? Do you think you need to show this week? Aaron's not there. You, it's a senior player as well as yourself. But, He's not there this week. What do you need to show this week? Because 
that game against Croatia is it, it could be absolutely massive. Yeah, look, we we realise the importance of this game. We've put ourselves in this situation in the group where we need a result, so um, like it's hugely important. But as a squad, we have to go out there and believe that we can do it. And I think instilling that belief in the in the group all week, believing that we can that we can get a result. We've shown in the past in Cardiff that against good teams we can we can pick up points and we can win games. So it's the same mentality again. We go into it believing that anything's possible. Ben, listen, you, you don't tell anyone on this call how experienced you are. You have 80 odd caps. Um, but in terms of what, when a player comes into an international break, comes into the actual camp, when they're happy, when they're playing well, you're part of a team at the Tottenham at the moment who seems to be enjoying yourselves, happy, winning, top of the Premier League. How can that benefit a senior player like you then coming into the Wales environment? You know, just just being happy, playing good football, top of the league. How does that help you for someone like you? Um, look, I think players want to be in winning teams. And I think that right now I'm lucky enough that I'm in a squad where we are picking up good results, we are doing well. and. And yeah, it's about bringing that in intensity, that enthusiasm, bringing the stuff that's working into the training camp this week. Uh, I think that Gibraltar game for us is important, that we get minutes as a group together on the field and hopefully pick up another good result that gives us that confidence going into the, the big game against Croatia. Final one from me, Ben. Uh, I've actually just got a, a message from my cameraman. He's on, he's on a flight over to the UEFA uh, HQ. He's on the same plane, plane as, as Gareth, actually, at the moment. I think he's sitting just behind him on the plane. But um, just about that, how, how big a deal could this ratification tomorrow be of Euro 2028, this joint bid that includes Wales, that you know, hopefully Wales will be there and we'll get half a dozen games. But as players, it's something five years out. Can you maybe explain, though, the, the, the greater significance of, 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 the, of a Euros, Wales being part of a, of a major championship like this? I think for Wales, any time we get to promote ourselves on the world stage is is hugely important. And I think every time we've been we've been asked to do anything of that sort, we've we've stood up and been a credit to our nation. And if we can use football as a way to to put our name on the map, then then it's even better for players. It's obviously exciting. I don't know the ramifications whether it means we'll be there or not. But um, look, any major football event in Wales is is great for the country and great for us as a squad. Thanks, well, thanks to you, Ben. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, okay, right. Um, Sean Mizra from Club Hill Drive. Thank you, Ben. And just two quick ones from me. Obviously, I know camp has just started, but you've got two new faces in, Charlie Savage and Owen Beck. How have they both settled in, and how nice is it just to see fresh faces around the camp? Uh, yeah, they both settled in well. Um, they were, We've kind of been around uh, the 21 squad, the last camps in the Vale Hotel in our base, so... So we see their faces around, but um, but look, when you get new players coming in, like I said, it's a breath of fresh air. It gives it gives everybody a lift. It gives it gives the group a new feel, and I think it's what we want to do with Wales. You know, promote youngsters coming through, give them an opportunity to show what they can do, and hopefully, in time, they make the team better. And uh, yeah, that's it's great to have them here. Yeah. Often. Obviously, the game on Wednesday takes place at the race course, and it's such a historic ground for Welsh football and Welsh international football. Are the players sort of aware of how historic it is to play at the ground, and how much are you looking forward to being in front of the North Wales fans? Yeah, it's something that's actually, I think the boys have had an eye on this fixture for a while. I think we're very appreciative as a group of the efforts that some of the, the North Wales fans have to make to come down to Cardiff. Um, to watch the games, especially midweek, especially the late ones. We know it's a tough old journey at times, but we're incredibly grateful and to get a chance to come up up north, play at Wrexham, play in front of our loyal fans. We, like I said, incredibly grateful and can't wait to play in front of them. Yeah, man, good luck. Deal. Deal, Sean. Um, back to Dad Pritchard, BBC. Okay, I don't know if we've lost it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've okay. seen I've had to change room, Ben. My, uh, my daughter takes precedence over me now in the house. Fair enough. Um, I know you've, you've become a new dad recently as well, haven't you? How, how's parent, parenthood treating you? How, how does that change your outlook on life? <laughs> uh, 
it's the best feeling in the world. But um, yeah, look, it's uh, there's nothing much more to say. That best feeling in the world. There's a few tired nights, but uh, but I love it. You touched on the race course there as well, and how much the players appreciate um, the North Wales support. How they often have to make that trek down to Cardiff often for midweek games. Have you chatted to your friend? Son as well, because I know he's a he's a Wrexham fan now. <laughs> Will he be jealous that you get to run out on the hallowed turf for the race course? I think he's, he's definitely aware that we're uh, that we're playing there, but uh, I don't think he's too envious. He's I think he's got a long trip back to Korea, so yeah, he he's got to go home for one, so he's quite happy. And just you know, on a more serious note, I guess with the games as well, how, how are you as, as players? approaching this game against Gibraltar. I know Rob has talked about a chance to experiment. Do you envisage you and your, your fellow kind of senior pros getting a few minutes as well? Because he, he named a stronger team than we expected against South Korea. Granted, the quality of the opposition is different, but is there much you can get out of this as senior pros as well? Look, I think any opportunity you get to play for your country, and especially in, in somewhere like Wrexham, everyone wants to do it. Like we're not in charge of picking the team, but if we get the chance to play, we'll be very excited I think as a team if you want to be successful you need to play together and um, I think we showed in South Korea we put a good performance in put you know 11 players who played in the next game pretty much so we put a good performance in and they paid dividends when we played against Latvia so I'm not sure if it'll be the same kind of thing but I'm hoping that there is a group of us that will that will get some time out on the pitch and we'll uh, we'll be able to Build a bit of confidence, build a bit of rhythm going into the big one. Nice one. Cheers, Ben. Do you Ben? Um, sorry, Dav. <laughs> <laughs> um, Satish from Empire Magazine. Hey, uh, first of all, Ben, congratulations on uh, the captaincy. Thanks, How Satish. How important is that to you? And do you see the uh, fact that Croatia are also a transitioning team as uh, of any relevance whatsoever in terms of the fixture? Um, well, firstly, to be captain of these games is, is a huge honour for me. It's something I love doing and I love playing for my country. So any opportunity to lead them out is is a huge honour for me. And like the, as you said about Croatia, I don't know how in transition they are. So they seem to be doing pretty well in the group. So it'll be a it'll be a tough team. Look, they're a great football in Asia and they've had great results over the last 10, 15, 20 years. And it's uh, it's a big, big game for us. We're we're expecting a very tough game. They're a team that's stacked with quality, players playing at the highest level. So we know it's going to be a hard game, but it's one that we really believe we can get something out of. Uh, you've mentioned, obviously, um, Wales has had some uh, recent retirements, but uh, your club colleague, uh, Ivan Perisic, is uh, sadly injured. Uh, do you have any sort of message for him in uh, the context of uh, this particular match and him being your uh, teammate. Yeah, look, what happened to Ivan? It was a freak injury, but it was uh, it was a really bad one and one that you know is pretty tough for a player who is the ultimate professional to take. He's he's an incredible trainer and incre his work rate is through the roof. So to see him go down with such an injury is pretty tough for for everyone to take. But look, we we've been in contact and. We're really just hoping that he's able to, to get over this as quickly as possible and uh, hopefully can be back in time for what looks like Croatia being in the Euros. I think that's his target. And finally, do you see this as a must win, the Croatia match? Um, look, I think three points goes a, goes a long way for what we need to do in this group, but I don't think it necessarily is must win. I'd say that the Looking at the state of the group, the next two are probably our closest challenges challenges in where we want to be in this group. But look, it's it's a huge opportunity for us playing at home. If we can get three points out of this game, we'll be absolutely delighted and it puts us in a better situation going into next month. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, Satish and Gareth from Bro Radio. Thank you. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gareth. Um, so congratulations on the captaincy. Um, I'm curious to ask, has Owen given you any advice on uh, on how to handle it? No, no. We uh, 
we were in contact and we've spoken in previous camps, so I'm well aware that uh, of what's expected when I when I take it from him. Um, so obviously Wednesday night, uh, taking on Jabal to talked about the chance to experiment. So obviously you need youngsters coming in to the field, but how important is it as well that you come out come out unscathed from that game as well, considering the the number of knocks we've had recently? Yeah, look, I think these friendly games, it's it's. It's a tough one. It's a it's a tough balancing act. You don't want to risk people and risk injuries, but at the same time, there are players here that want to be playing and playing together and getting that rhythm that I spoke about. So uh, yeah, it's a balancing act. But look, I think it's tough tough to play a friendly for your nation. You whenever you put that whale shirt on, you want to win the game and you you want to go for it. So uh, look, we do understand that it is a friendly and the qualifier is on the weekend, but. Whatever team we put out, uh, everyone will be up for it and desperate to win the game. And just finally, you mentioned as well that so you're focusing not only on Sunday night against Croatia, but of course, looking further ahead beyond that. Um, it's it, it, it's it still feel, does it still feel a, a tough ask to qualify? Um, look, we know the situation we're in, but and it, and it's definitely going to be challenging, but. But we believe in ourselves in this group. We believe we're, that we are, we're better than what we've shown in the games against the opposition previously. And uh, we do really believe that we can qualify from this group. All the best, Ben. Cheers. Thanks. Jeff Gareth, I will finish off with Mike Walters and then Ben Fisher, please. Good afternoon. Um, Hi. Jim Walters' uh, record in international football currently He's played 80, won 8, lost 63, and the, the 8 wins, 3 have come against um, Liechtenstein, I think, and the, the others have been against the likes of San Marino and Malta. Uh, how important is it that uh, you put them away, when I say put them away, that you get a win on the board on Wednesday night to build that rhythm and confidence you were talking about? Yeah, I think... Um... Yeah, I think we're going into this game, we are expected to win, but we're not... We can't go into this game expecting it to be a complete walkover. We've played against teams at Gibraltar's level in many times in the past, and look, there can be it can be tough games if you're not 100% uh, focused and you don't respect what you're up against. So, look, they've got a number of good players that we've seen playing in English leagues and in in European qualifiers. So it's uh, yeah, it's a it's a match where we have to go out there with. Full respect for them, and and we have to play it play it right. Uh, and secondly, um, you mentioned earlier on the, the, the two new faces in the squad. Um, we all know who Charlie Savage's dad is. And some of us help him write his column in the Daily Mirror. Um, and obviously, Owen Beck comes from a pretty famous bloodline as well, doesn't he? It must be nice to sort of see Welsh football being evolving as a generation game, and and sons and nep great nephews of famous faces finding their way into the squad, there, there must be something in the genes. <laughs> Definitely, I think it's uh, it's always nice when we get new faces in the squad, but we hope there's just no added pressure on them to uh, to live up to their namesakes. They're, they're good players and they're, they're individuals on on their own and we have to respect that you know their, their journey is their own and it's not what, what came in the past, but we're definitely excited to have them here and hopefully uh, they can bring some, bring some quality and uh, and help the group out. Brilliant. Good luck Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Do you have Mike? And finally, Ben Fisher from The Guardian. Hi, Ben. UK. Hi, man. Um, just how different is the is the mood this camp, would you say? How, how would you say it compares to the last one? Obviously, on the back of the summer, um, September felt pretty significant. How, how does it feel this time? Is it a bit more relaxed, perhaps? I think, yeah, in September, look, we, you hit the nail on the head. It was tough coming in after a difficult summer and there, were there was definitely a bit of pressure on the games but we showed that we can stand up against good opposition and coming off the back of two clean sheets into this camp, one win in the qualifiers, I think it's, uh, it's a much more positive feeling but that doesn't mean we don't recognise the significance of the two games coming up. And just in terms of Croatia, you say obviously that home factor then being significant. What are the games, I mean, for me it's easy to think of them, but for you, what are the games that stand out in being those moments that you can draw inspiration from on Sunday? 
I think the two World Cup qualifiers were our big pressure moments against teams. Arguably, people would say that are better sides than us, and we showed that we were more than capable of of making our home in Cardiff uh, a fortress and making it difficult for them. And then you look at the Hungary game that we had there. You even look at the Nations League games we played Holland and Belgium there. These are some of the best teams in Europe, and we we put good performances in and on another day could have got better results again. So, look, playing at home definitely gives us that a bit of, bit of something special and uh, and we're hoping that, you know, in front of a, a good crowd in Cardiff on Sunday, we can do something special again.